Hey everybody, I'm glad you're here today to do story time with me. Uh, we have a really sweet book today. It's called Trees Make Perfect Pets. You can see little Abigail right here. And for her birthday, she wishes for a pet tree. So most people wouldn't call a tree a pet, right? They would call a dog a pet, a cat a pet, like a fish a pet, uh, but not a tree. But Abigail doesn't care. That's what she wants. She wants a pet tree. So she goes and picks one out. She teaches it some tricks. Um, and you'll kind of see most of the people that she interacts with think that a tree is a really poor choice for a pet. But if you pay attention to the end, you'll see that maybe it's a really great pet. Okay. We're going to draw today. Love to draw on story time with Andy. So if you have a piece of paper and a crayon ready at the end of the book, we can draw together. And this is what we're going to be drawing today. This is our little pet tree. His name is Fido and Abigail carries him around in a wagon. So that's what we're going to draw today. Okay. And I want to say a special hello to Ariana R in Leland, North Carolina. Ariana, I know you just became a big sister. So maybe you and your little sis can watch this together. Okay. Hope you enjoy it. And here we go. We're going to read trees make perfect pets. Trees Make Perfect Pets by Paul Zajac. Birthdays are the best days for wishes. And on this birthday, Abigail wished for a pet. Her brother wanted a dog, their man's best friend. Her father suggested a hamster. They're so fluffy. Her mom thought a bird would be nice. They make beautiful music. Abigail had another idea. I want a tree. Oh, what? They all gasped. A tree, they're the greatest pets in the whole world. But a tree isn't a pet, her mom argued. Of course it is, Abigail said. It's quiet, it's easy to take care of, and can you name another pet that actually helps you breathe? Her family was stumped and Abigail ran to the car. Let's go adopt a tree. Abigail searched the nursery and found her tree. He looks friendly. It's a tree. They're all friendly, her brother said. I'll name you Fido and you and I are gonna be best friends. Abigail and Fido were always together. Shouldn't trees sleep outside, her father asked. But Fido would be lonely without me. Abigail took good care of Fido. She watered him, sang to him. They loved going on long walks. What are you doing? Her neighbor asked. I'm taking Fido for a walk. That's a tree. Trees don't go for walks. This one does. He's my pet. A tree is not a good pet. Cats are much better. Oprah Whiskers can cuddle. Fido loves a good hug. Oprah Whiskers can do tricks. Stay, Fido. Good boy. Oprah Whiskers keeps me warm at night. Fido keeps me cool during the day. Huh, have it your way, her neighbor said. But a tree isn't a real pet. Abigail took Fido to the dog park and she knew it was important for pets to socialize, but some didn't agree. I'm sorry, this park is for dogs. Fido is a dogwood. That doesn't count. He's very friendly. His bark is worse than his bite. Sorry, actual pets only. Abigail didn't care what other people thought of Fido. She didn't mind that Fido couldn't go where other pets could. She didn't mind that Fido was only good at fetching kites and didn't like to give them back. She didn't mind that he sometimes had accidents. None of that mattered because Fido was her pet. But like all pets, Fido grew. Walks became more difficult. Fido was a tight fit in her room at night and the breakfast table became crowded. There are leaves in my cereal again. Honey, Fido's too big to live in the house. He needs a permanent home, her mom said. But Fido's my friend, where would he live? Outside, a tree belongs in the ground, her father explained. Abigail's heart broke. Fido had grown too big for the house, but keeping him inside wasn't fair to him. 
So she found a sunny spot in the yard and dug him a new home. But Abigail wasn't ready to let go. Worried that Fido felt scared and alone, Abigail kept him company under the stars. When morning came, Abigail woke up to birds singing. Mom, Dad, come quick! Her family rushed outside to see what the commotion was. Fido made new friends! Huh, I guess a tree can be man's best friend, her brother said. Abigail hugged Fido. A tree is everyone's best friend. The end. All right, friends, we are gonna draw today. This is always my favorite part. Um, it just kind of helps me remember the story and picks, uh, you know, helps me pick out a favorite part of the book. So we are going to draw Fido the tree riding along in his wagon, okay? So he's kind of leaning in this one. We're gonna draw him straight up and down in ours, um, but you can follow along. We're just gonna draw a wagon, which is like a rectangle and a bunch of circles. We're gonna draw the, the tree pot and then we're gonna learn how to draw a tree, which is really easy because you can kind of make it look however you want, which is a great thing about trees. Okay, so first we're going to draw this wagon, okay? So we're gonna draw a rectangle. Super simple. Da, 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 da. All right, little uh, rectangle there. You can kind of give it like a little extra lip if you want, you know? All right, now we're going to draw the wheels. So come down just a little bit, draw a wheel. You can draw like a spoke in the middle of it. Draw a stick coming down and then one going at an angle. All right, gonna draw another wheel over here. Spoke in the middle, stick coming down, stick going at an angle. If you wanna get fancy, you can kinda go like that and that shows the second pair of wheels right behind it. We're gonna draw the um, handle here. So start at the top of this wheel here, come out just a little bit, and draw an angle up, and then draw some kind of handle up there. All right, there's our wagon. Now it's time, oh, I guess we should put Fido on it, right? F-I-D-O, which is normally a name for a dog, but this is our pet tree and that's what she named it, okay? So now we're gonna draw a flower pot. Uh, just start right there, bring a line in, line in, just make sure those are about the same height. And then curve it just a little bit, okay? Now, here's the thing about trees. They're always fattest at the ground, and then their limbs get skinnier as they go up. So see how the trunk is a little bit fatter down there? And then once you get to the very tips of the branches, it's much thinner. That's really the only thing you need to know when you're drawing trees. So we can make this tree trunk shape kind of wiggly a little bit and then it can get skinnier as we go up the top okay there's our tree trunk um, if you want to come behind here and draw the other end of the the back side of the pot you can now's the fun part uh, you just get to add a bunch of tree limbs and leaves wherever you want so just keep coming off of the tree and make a bunch of you know tiny little tree limbs. They can go all sorts of directions. They can grow up sometimes. Sometimes like you'll see they're kind of bended here. We can kind of like bend one in, um, just kind of give it lots of what you would call organic shapes, Ooh, fancy word. And then once you get some other branch, like some of those branches, you can kind of draw some tinier branches off of each one. That's where our leaves are gonna hang off of, okay? So, then you can go nuts and start drawing all of these leaves, okay? So, you do not have to get fancy for this. You can draw just like ovals. You can give them a little bit of a bend if you want, but you just start drawing them like they're coming off of the tree, okay? You can draw a bunch of little ovals. You can um, just like fill in your tree like crazy. And if you want your leaves to be green, that's fine. If you prefer fall and you want your tree to kind of look like it's, um, you know, starting to get a little bit colder out, you can color the leaves red and orange and yellow and brown. You can do anything you want. This is your pet tree. 
and you make it look however you want, okay? So I'm gonna kind of speed this up by drawing like that, just to kind of fill in the tree a little bit. But you just keep adding those leaves, okay? And soon you will have a full tree in your little wagon, all right? How about that? Ta-da! Trees make perfect pets, okay? And we're gonna draw that, hmm, I took up a lot of room with our tree. Let's try and see if we can make some room to draw it, okay? Um, let's do it. Mm, let's start right up here. T R E E S. And look, check it out on here. There's like a tree branch and some leaves coming off of the S. So you can even do the same thing if you want. Trees make perfect. P-E-T-S. Trees make perfect pets. There you go, everybody. Hope your tree looks great. Okay, so it's a great book, right? I love, um, she sticks to her guns. She knows she wants the tree, even though everybody else kind of thinks it's silly as a pet. Um, I like to watch the tree kind of grow throughout the book. Um, and I feel so bad for Abigail when she's sad about having to plant the tree in the yard and then she wakes up the next morning to see that it has become really great friends with squirrels and birds and um, the sun is shining through and it's just beautiful and she gets to have that tree in her yard for a really long time. So love that book. Hope you guys did too. And as always, stay well and keep reading.